Hello everybody and welcome to another knockoff review in today's video. A little bit later than I had intended, we're taking a look at the Black Mamba LS06S Tank Mega Commander, or maybe Mega Tank Commander. It's their rusty, battle damaged, oversized version of a Studio Series Megatron. Quickly flicking the box around, we have a combination of artwork and photography on the back and this package is actually still sporting the black mamba branding as opposed to the various different pseudonyms that the company goes under at present megatron comes housed in a big black plastic clamshell and here we have him out of his plastic prison ah, he's a bit snazzy looking isn't he what a gorgeous paint application they've done it in uh, bear in mind that's obviously the revenge of the fallen Megatron was dug up from the bottom of the sea and then kind of built through different parts. I think the rusty decal that they've gone for is very in keeping indeed. He looks sensational. Now again, he's not completely screen accurate, but he is a very close representation considering all things. But where is our Dark of the Moon? style Megatron, Hobo Megatron done in this style. Here he is with his original Black Mamba version. Uh, again, you see them paint decals really do make the world a difference. It's like before and after rust treatment, isn't it? We took a rusty Megatron, treated it for seven days using Rusties, and now Megatron is feeling much better. Here he is alongside Black Apple Prime. Uh, personally, I think that's a really Good comparison scale wise. And here we have him with the Wei Zhang oversized MPM Megatron. Now see, when you get a nice paint scheme like the one that Black Mamba represented here, uh, it kind of really draws the attention away from the fact it is an oversized studio series. It does make it kind of much more comparable to those masterpiece line. Now, as gorgeous as Megatron looks, he does come with some accessories. Uh, he comes with this alternative kind of non-battle damaged head. Very similar to what we saw. Those eyes piercing. Very similar to what we saw with the original version. But uh, obviously just done up, up in this kind of dirty deco. This battle damaged version, I really love how that looks. There we go. Uh, we get this huge battle claw knife. Again, with this really lovely rusty vibe and the blue LED lamp. And it can, of course, be switched out for the uh, kind of more traditional claw hand. Uh, this just slides in and out on a mushroom peg but really loving that rusty vibe. He's just a very poseable figure. And this new kind of demonic look for him really does suit him down to a T. Done an exceptional job with the paint. Uh, probably up there with my favorite kind of aftermarket paint schemes. Uh, very torn whether I prefer this to their scorn because I absolutely adore what they're done with scorn and uh, this could well be a very close second if not maybe just pipping scorn at the post I just think they've done a really good job with this, especially kind of that walking pose you expect him to be dragging his blade along the floor with sparks coming up uh, really gorgeous incarnation uh, the blade can holster really quite well, just slides into the back, uh, so it gives us a better look at his fusion cannon. Uh, very tidily done. Uh, we've still got those thrusters on the back. Maybe they could have done with some scorch marks, possibly. But all in all, we have to remember this is an oversized version of the Studio Series Megatron with a few gap fillers and a very nice paint 
scheme. Uh, we do get some die cast on here as well. These hinges here that support the lower legs. This is die cast lump. So it should be uh, quite stable. I just love the kind of attention to detailing all of those cog systems. It does have a kind of a dirty kind of feel to it. From what I can see, there's no paint rubbers yet. It's getting in a little bit more up close and personal on that face sculpt. Maybe we could have done with a little bit more battle damage on there. But still, it's more than what we did have. And I think it works. Now, being just a repaint, I won't cover the full transformation. I will include a little information bar at the top of this video that will take you directly through to the original video at exactly the moment in time where I performed the transformation. So if you want to go and check that out, open that up in a new window. And then once you've got him transformed up, I'll meet you right back here. And here we have him transformed up alongside his original counterpart. Uh, again, really does make the world a difference. Having that extra paint it really does kind of look battle damaged and ready to go. We've got the wing sections at the front there as well. Although I do have a very limp cannon there. I wonder if he can get some sort of uh, medication to fix that. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's a, uh, I'm not a fan of the alt mode for the studio series version. Very much looking forward to seeing an MPM version that gives us a really nice uh, combination of the two. I have a QC sticker on here. QC01, oh, QC1, oh there, it's just, just peeled peeled off but yep it gives you the idea of what it looks like I mean it's a beautiful piece I won't be displaying it in tank mode although the paint definitely does look better in tank mode for this particular version than it does for his predecessor I think I might have to get some heat or something on there as well though I mean this is oh, kind of the same sort of rubber texture it's just that this is very warped which is a very odd thing to say the least but I'll include a link in the description below where this can be purchased. And again, if you want to watch the transformation for this, hit that information bar at the top there. That'll take you through to the previous video. Until next time from myself and the Black Mamba oversized studio series Megatron done in this very lovely rustic color. Ah, goodbye. <laughs>